If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. Yeah, it's got the ridges in it, doesn't it? Or the... Yeah, and it's sort of, and I write a little higher. Yeah, like me right, too. Right around the ring. And one thing about the, the guillotes is that I, I don't, it posts really well. But I find it just to be a bit top heavy. So I, I think it's, it's more well balanced here because I write a little bit higher up. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the color on this. Oh, beautiful. Larry, I'm talking, I'm talking to you, Larry. Yeah. The, yeah. The, color, the oh. color on this is magnificent. Oh, come, come to Papa. Yes. Oh, talk, talk to Frank. <laughs> talk to Frank. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Frank, one of those last call. Cool. Get him oh, get him. Get that, that's a gorgeous color. Yeah. What are those lists Ooh, for, Frank? I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have just added uh, DuPont. Uh, 995. There's a coach, too. And uh, 800 bucks. I'm also going to start stocking uh, some models, so I'm looking forward to that. And this is the Aquamarine. How much are those, Frank? Mm -hmm. uh, are the Gilles, uh, is 995 list. That's close, wasn't that, Tony? Yeah, yeah you were. Yeah. That's a, you know, Larry, that's... That's a bargain compared to this, okay? You could buy two of these for one of these. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. Uh-huh. Remember that, Marilyn? Okay. Okay. Unless I'm mistaken about how colorful it was, I seem to rem I, I'm I'm wanting to say it's like merry-go-round. Was it a Rembrandt version? Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah the merry go round was a Rembrandt. Really, yeah. No, it's a Rembrandt, but it's like white and very colorful. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. See, traditionally, SC DuPont has been very, pen. very what conservative. Um, yeah. There's not a lot of colored pens. Uh, and so then when, when they, the Guillaume was supposed to come out in May, and then the mm -hmm. pandemic hit and everything, and everything just went to crap. And so they came over, and the original red was orange and so michael sent me some samples to look at i'm like that's kind of orange and so we sent it back to paris and they came back with four four different samples and we decided on this one and beautiful same same thing happened with it with the next three colors we asked them to tweak it because the pre-sales on this were really good and so we really kind of caught their eye and so they're more apt now to do these things for us whereas again DuPont normally is like, this is the new sword. So it's it's a black pen, which is very nice, very elegant, but it's just not going to get real wild. So I don't know if you can see the clip, but the clip is a sword. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, the sword. Paper the cap. Very nice. Well, yeah, it looks cool. Are all, are all DuPont pens, are they <laughs> metal, brass pens, or they are they are they do any resin? Uh, no, there's no resin. Okay. Are they lacquered? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I said this back in the day, did this, they do resin ones? This has got a on? natural lacquer on it. Mm hmm Beautiful. It's 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 an amazing pen. I know when we got these in, it was just the three of us were just like, wow, this is just amazing. You got anything for four dollars? You got anything for four dollars and not John? <laughs> well, you, you should, Larry, you should you should have talked to me when I worked for Pilot. I could sell you a dozen G twos. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, you know what, I can, I can, I can get you a varsity fountain pen. I still know, I still know some people there. Oh, you're gonna have my G2. There you go. Gosh. It's only a thousand dollars. What's a thousand dollars, right? Right. Three arms, a leg, and half I of an eyeball later. You guy, you know, come on now. Uh, when Pilot had Maki uh, rollerballs, which they don't do anymore, but the Nightline was a very popular rollerball, and it was twenty-seven hundred dollars. And we put a G2 refill in it. <laughs> it was a $2,700 G2. Great, great refills, aren't they? But they're awesome. Yeah. They have really fun. Are. Yeah. Have fun with the refill. I can dig it. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay. I've got a <laughs> when list. I, that, when I see that guilloche and the ruby and then the line D and the scarlet red, Frank, are you thinking yeah. what I'm I'm thinking. Oh, Frank, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Frankly, I'm, on board. Scarlet. I've, uh, I'm thinking. Frankly, Scarlet to go with those two pens. It possibly could. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just got I just got Frank on on to D initial today. Let's just we're gonna do baby steps with Dupont with Frank. <laughs> but we what, can what's that? <laughs> Hey John, John, hold up a pen uh, next to that uh that Guilloche uh, pen because I, I'm kinda curious about the size. And then maybe next to a, what you had a Homo sapien or Okay. Just got for comparison. Okay, so the length is about the same. Uh, yeah. The Gyosha is a little taller. Okay. And right. it's more girthy maybe... on the uh, homo, isn't it? On the stage, yeah. More girthier on it. Yeah. Hold it, it up a little, bit. John. Up a yeah. little. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. And there's definitely, I mean, if, I mean, you're not, there's a big difference in weight here which is why I don't post a cap when I write with this, where it's this, I mean, as, as you mentioned, I mean, this is, oh, this heavy. is, this is a perfect weight with it, with a cap posted. Mm -hmm. So on that DuPont, uh, is that a twist off cap, John, or a pull? Pull, pull. snap. Pull, snap, okay. And it snaps pull. in the back. How, but when you post that pin, is it, uh, how does it feel? It's not, uh, Gonna make it, it, snap, uh, it snaps, Larry. It snaps. Yeah. On the post. Yeah. Yeah. So is that? No, it's not going that, anywhere. It's still gonna balance roll in the hand when no. you post it. Yeah. It, no, that's not. That's not gonna go anywhere at all. It does move around to protect okay. protect the lacquer, so it does move around more than other Dupont pens that post. And again, like I said, I, I prefer it's my own it's my own personal preference just to write with it with it without the cap posted. Okay. So the uh, the, the D initial, which I was talking to to Frank about today, um, yeah. we've got uh, uh, three new colors in it. And again, don't throw anything at me because it's a ballpoint. Uh, this is the new <laughs> this is the new shark blue. Mm -hmm. Shark's nice. Yeah. Um, this is the new red and my all really my favorite is the electric blue wow it's gorgeous they're very nice and this is a pen that it, it does not post you don't have a cho choice it does not post either on the either on the fountain or the roller but you can't beat the price point oh yeah i mean the the, the price point is 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 awesome what is okay. Uh, the initial is, is uh, two sixty nine for the fountain, um, two twenty nine for the roller, and one fifty nine for the ballpoint. And it's got you know it's got a steel nib, but it's just very very elegant looking. And the ballpoint, I just I, I really like the really like the feel of the ballpoint. This is like a matte color versus the other ones are, are gloss. Another pen that that uh, oh. I know you guys aren't really into ballpoints, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. This is one of my favorite ballpoints, the Defi. The this Defi. is the vintage. Yeah. And then there are two more that just landed and are now available, a matte black and a matte black with gunmetal. Oh, wow. Cool, yeah. That's really nice. And those, are DuPont, those are DuPonts? Yes, those, and those yes. are 350 Wow. <laughs> um, the other... I mentioned the sword pen. The sword is six ninety five for the for the fountain, uh, five ninety five for the ball the the roller ball, and four ninety five for the ballpoint. You think the grip is awfully slick, or do you think it'll be enough grippy grip? Um, grippy grip. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, because <laughs> sometimes you know you get these cheap fountain pens, and they have like plastic or um like a, a coating on the metal that makes yeah. it sticky so that it you know slip and like cut your fingers on the shoulder. Now you can see here by the there's enough of a ridge here oh there's a nib there's a yeah. bump okay that, that your fingers are going to stop so you're going to write like that oh okay okay well i kind of choke up to the nib but yeah. oh, you have a step off the barrel there to the grip john yeah there is yeah Right there. Okay, when you when you get your finger and you pull back on it, is there anything sharp there that's going to be annoying or just uncomfortable? Um, we don't cover hospital visits, 
Very you so, know, I, you know. No. <laughs> I was thinking you should. I'm, I'm very <laughs> fragile. I'm very fragile. So, and very sensitive too, as you can tell. I, I don't believe either. <laughs> and the other, the other pen in the sword collection is, which is kind of cool. Um, this is the Hippocrates mm -hmm. after the uh, Greek philosopher. And yeah, so yeah. I sold one of these to a doctor friend of mine in Dallas at the show a couple weeks ago. This oh, is actually pretty nice. cool. That's and a that's, bad boy. That's seven ninety five for the fountain, six ninety five for the roller, and five ninety five for the ballpoint. That's a good looking one there. Yeah, well, nice. And they're all in stock now. My gosh. So um, all we need is money, right? That's it. Uh, we take credit. Uh, Frank takes credit cards. That's Frank. About sure. You, can you take them bad credit cards. We got. Oh, that's not I even got quad pay. I even added quad pay to the site for the holidays and all. It's it's actually really good. You you pay over time through your bank. Uh, you sign up through them. Uh, the dealer gets paid up front, and then uh, the bank uh, basically withdraws money from your account. Uh, I think every two weeks over an eight eight, eight week period, over two months. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is real cool. Oh, a lot day, of yeah. places are doing that now. Uh, Goulet is doing it. it. Uh, Fountain Power Revolution is doing it. A whole bunch of places are getting sure. into the payment plan system, which sure. is awesome. Because if I could put one of those Van Goghs on a payment plan, like I would totally be down. But if I did that with my credit card right now, they would look at me and be like, are you sure that you are doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it kind of funny? For uh, I've got friends that uh, look at me and, how much did you pay for that pen? Yeah, I can't believe that you paid. Uh, I remember being one of those people. Here's it. No, I was one of those people. How was? How can you spend a hundred dollars on a pen? Are you kidding me? Are you crazy? Most uh, expensive pen I own is my Waterman Twelve. I paid two hundred and fourteen dollars for it, and it's the best pen I have. Yeah. <laughs> I see it's that John, John, you're into ballpoint pins a lot, and that's cool. Uh, I, I've got some big pins back there, little stick pins. I'll trade. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, Larry, I've, I've, I've upgraded things, and, and I've started. And again, like I said, people have given me all kinds of grief about not writing with a fountain pen. And what I don't, I don't know what it was when I when I inked this up. I just started writing with it with Crystal Dream. And I enjoy it. And then when I got the uh, got the Dupont, um, yeah. now you know I've got my Davina, I've got my Dupont James Bond ballpoint that's mine. But I just I love writing with this Crystal Dream. I mean, it's an amazing pen. Just the the filling system really intrigued me. And then this was one of the first pens that I took the cap off. I'm like, whoa, this this locks. What what? How is this possible? And it's just it's just a very cool oh, whole whole Homo sapiens line is cool. Yeah. I know when I got my samples, my yeah. my wife looked at my the, the the magma rollerball. She said, "I want that." I said, "Well, these are my samples." She said, "You deal with it. You deal with coals." <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, back back to the ballpoint or rollerball. Uh, I I always carry one around because first of all, you never know when you're going to need it. Right. Yeah. And then second of all, if somebody wants to borrow my pen, I never let them use my fountain pen. In the story, not going to happen. Not with me. I'll let them use the ballpoint pen here. Like so if we, if we could just skip back to Visconti for a moment. Go back to Visconti. All right, Tony. I, I have I have samples of the new Explorer. Um, Definitely. Definitely. That will arrive uh, within the next maybe couple weeks. And there's fountain pen, rollerball, and ballpoint. The fountain is six ninety five. Rollerball is four fifty, and the ballpoint is three fifty, and it's acrylic resin. Oh, that is pretty though. Look at that. Oh. So there are three colors. There's this amber, and if you notice on the bottom, they 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 did, which I think Visconti does some really cool accents and stuff, and they just do like little stuff. So the the finish is on the, the bottom of the barrel as well. And then, of course, it's got the my pen system where you can put your initials in there. Mm -hmm. But you've got the amber, and my favorite is the purple. Oh, nice! Ooh, pretty. I like the purple. Is that faceted, John? Nice. It it I looks like it. It looks like it, Tony, but it's not. 
Okay. That's a, when I first saw these, Michael Hajar and I, we, we FaceTime every day. And when he first showed them to me, I said, is this facet? He says, no. And then there's the, uh, the black and you, you can't really see this kind of look, it probably just looks like an ordinary black pen to you, but there's like clouds in it. And then it will have the, uh, it, it has the magnetic latch too. And these should be here, like I said, within the next couple of weeks. What nib is going to be on those? The, the Viscani in-house nib. Okay. Yeah. No, what's the name of the pen again? Explorer. Voyager. Explorer. Voyager, I'm sorry. Voyager. 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 Or, well, the converter is cool in there too. Yes. Um, that, yeah. about that, John. That's unique to that too. From the, from I was the flash. Ask, I got. Which of these have the converter and which are piston fill? This is oh. the this is the new new converter and it says explorer on the side. Is and that it's the got one that's not removable? Yes, yeah, removable. I just oh. I just took it out of here. Oh wow. So you could use a cartridge as well. Wasn't there one of them that, that the they have that's not removable? Is it a push button type of filler? No. No. Twist. Twist. Ah, okay. Thanks. Bye. And it's got the um yeah, you probably can't see, but there's a gas gauge right here. Yeah, I see that. No. But we're really excited about these. See, that's the thing about the, the, both Viscani and, and DuPont with, with Viscani, they just keep sending us product, new product. I mean, we've got, there's there's a lot going on. We'll have to do another one of these, Larry, in the, in the first quarter. There's a ton of stuff coming over here uh, in the first quarter. Um, he said they're always very agreeable to some of our suggestions, whether it be design or whether it be color. Um, you know, at, at, at Pilot, I'd wait, you know, six, seven months or something, because again, you go back to whether it's fine pens or whether it's G2, G2 was paying all of our mortgages for years. But with Viscani, it's just it's just pens. And so they're able to do things a lot quicker in DuPont as well. Now DuPont's got you know lighters and leather accessories and luggage and that sort of thing. So it's a little more diversified, but I mean, things come over here a lot quicker. So we're gonna get a constant flow of new product, which Frank knows as a dealer, that's what gets his customers going. Okay, he sells them something uh, today, and then, oh, he sends out an email blast that, oh, this is the new Voyager. Oh, oh, okay, well, I, I guess you better send me one of those too. So it's just a constant flow of new products, which is re what really is nice about working for, for Coles and distributing Viscotti and DuPont. Wow. So it's really nice. nice. Uh, Visconti also makes watches. I thought maybe I saw those at the uh, in Florence. I they, might they, be wrong. No, they did. Uh, in fact, Michael Michael wears one, uh, and okay. I think we still do have a couple in stock. But both Michael and Mark decided that uh, the jewelry was not really their yeah. thing. Uh, being in the watch business is a very expensive deal to to distribute because things don't move that quickly. I mean, that's why, you know, somebody like Frank comes to us and says, okay, I, I want to start up with you. I said, okay, I'm only going to sell him the things that are going to turn. And then once he gets things on his site and says, these are available, I don't want him bringing them in and having them sit there in inventory. He can order them. And we'll, and, and the nice thing about Coles too is that we'll drop ship. So right. it's up on Frank's site or any of the dealer's site and say, okay, I've got a, uh, I've got a Polynesia limited edition. Um, Okay, here's the order. Drop ship it to here. He never had to bring it in. Right. So he's, he's got his money before he even has gets the invoice from us. So, but again, when you start out as a dealer, you want to start out with products that are going to sell right away to make you money and to get things going. I mean, I've had people call me and say, "Okay, I want to order this one or that." I said, "No, no, you're not. You're not. A, you're just starting out with us, and I want to get the brand established, and then we'll go from there. But put everything up in your website." Say, this is available. We are, you know, Federalist is an authorized dealer for DuPont and for Visconti. And that's all he's got to do or any of the other dealers have to do. And then you've got access to the entire line. So. And yeah. that's a fact. Yeah, most yeah. most of my Visconti I get delivered were drop shipped from Coles. Yeah. Really? No. Yeah. That's that's great to know that you're in the system. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, 
I've got to ask you the, some of those some of the uh, special editions like the Portofino. I really I came this close to looking at, to get a Portofino, but they said they're out of stock. Does that mean that they were they were limited their uh, Visconti? I'd heard a rumor when they said like okay they only made so many London Fog, and then now all of a sudden they 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 were out of stock, but all of a sudden now they're available again in some areas. I, what they do is, and which is kind of, was kind of baffling to me too, because I'm not used to that being in, being in a more structured mm-hmm. company. Um, and I don't mean that derogatory in any way, but no. they'll go through the warehouse or the shop and they'll find some material and they'll contact Mark or Michael and say, look, we've got enough material here to make 41 pens. You want them? Mm, okay what's the price and then these pens come over and they're never going to become available again right so so when you see something like that being an avid Visconti collector you're rest assured you aren't going to see those again right because they just made them up and just to get the material out of the warehouse wow case in point with the old Van Goghs I was telling you guys about before earlier you know these were older models but they are brand new warranted and all like I said, they, they sent out a, a flash to the dealers, you know, that they came in possession of old stock pens that, you know, that you can buy and they'll represent them. They're still brand new. And you, if you did, if you missed them on the first run, you can buy them now. Right. And both, both Ascani and DuPont, we have close out lists. Uh, the DuPont ones are a little more extravagant because there's some things that we get that, that we don't carry. Um, I don't know if, if you can look on, I'll be, I'll be in San Antonio on, on Friday and Saturday doing the show there. And I've got a piece called the cowboy, which is a gun and the barrel is a pen and it's like $35,000. Take two of them. Yeah. I, I only got one, Larry. I only got one. Okay. Larry. I'll take that one then. Yeah. Go ahead and wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, just give your credit card to Frank or in business. I'm going to speculate that you guys will probably uh, not uh, return with that pen in Texas. Um, I, I had it in Dallas. I had it in Dallas and I got a lot of looks at it. And then uh-huh. Larry John uh-huh. took it back to Houston with him. And he hasn't sold it yet, but I'm, ho- I'm hoping in Santa I, because I, you know, I know collectors in Dallas but I don't in San Antonio. The last time I was in San Antonio, it was Colorado pen was there, not paradise pen it was Colorado pen. So I don't know what, I don't know what to expect. You know, it should be their, their limited vendors. Um, I mean, the Dallas show was, was good. I mean, I sold high end product. I mean, I sold a couple of Van Gogh, but anything below Van Gogh, I couldn't give away, but sold a couple of crystal dreams, a couple of Medici's. So yeah, it was, it was good. So we'll see. I, I admire Larry for trying. Good. And for, to get this going again, because, you know, we're all going kind of stir crazy. Nice. And, you know, my wife is ecstatic that I left for four days because yeah. exactly. I've been home since the end of February. <laughs> I, I went up to her. I went up to her. I said, oh, I said I, I, the Dallas show got canceled. Her eyes like blew out of her head. She said, no, you got to go anyway. <laughs> go get the virus. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> John, uh, John, are you, are you, uh, Obviously, you make your way around, uh, throughout the country, and there's only so many brick and mortar stores even open anymore. Obviously, right. uh, we have one here in Kansas City. It's a very small store. It's been there for a long time. Uh, I don't think the owner is so engaged in the business uh, it, that it's only open part time now because the location it's it's at uh, is is a big complex, a hotel complex with shopping. It's a nice, very elite district downtown Kansas City, right. and. Uh, but I know they carry Visconti. I, I know they have the, the product there. And uh, But do you go around? I mean, obviously, you're not going to hit a, maybe not hit a store like that because it's so small. Uh, but uh, is that part of your, your duties is to, to visit the, the distributors and the stores that carry your product? Yeah, actually, Pen Place is one of my accounts. And it, yeah. it's, it's kind of a cool thing because the, the th- Mark and Michael and I, we know a lot of the same people. So right. technically, Drum Ghouls is Mark's account. Technically, Anderson Penn is Mark's account, but I still talk to them all the time. Right. Now, I got stuck with Frank. I don't know how that happened, but I got. 
<laughs> no, he's under my he's under my number. But yes, I do go, and I, that's what I like to do. I like doing events. Um, really, the only sales call that I made, even with Pilot, was to Goulet Pen. I mean, everybody else, when I would go see him, I would be doing an event there. So I would be, be either be there for a day or two days. I, I know the the, the the boys at Atlas really want me to come there and do an event because they just took mm-hmm. on DuPont. And, uh, you know, I'd love to go up to see the Andersons in Appleton. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's part of my. If you, if, if you get back to see, if you get back to pay a visit to the Penn place, I've got barbecue waiting here for you. So. Um, let me get my hey. phone maker. Right here. <laughs> hey, John, and next month I'll, I will have the Andersons on next month. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, actually, actually uh, uh, Brian texted me today because uh, I think Frank sent him an invitation. And so Brian texted me and said, you know, good luck. He said, uh, Larry's very conservative. He's probably going to be wearing a three-piece suit. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's talking about a well-dressed man. <laughs> Eat your heart out. <laughs> hey, did you know that Brian only uses two different colors of ink? Two. Only two. That's all he owns. Well, I, I'd given him a chance with when, when he was take, using the Roshizuku ink. I, you know, I gave him twenty-four different types to use, and I know that he dipped him a couple of them in there. Yeah. So uh, there's a guy on the in the in the pen community named Dr. Joe Vitolo. He's a, a, involved in Iampeth and such. He uses one ink, and that's the Roshizuku uh, Yamabuto. So he's just one of my son right there. There's not your son. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey. fellow pen community. Yes. I love you guys. Yes, I love you guys. Educated rocker. Oh, over, yeah. <laughs> so, Tony, don't tell anybody, but Yamamoto's in there. Oh, it's be- Oh, I've got a bottle. I love it. I absolutely love it. I- but that's the only one he'll write with. The only one. Um, yeah, I mean- and now I have to order one of those crystal dreams. But Thank you very much. Hey, hey, corn poppy reds in here. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Lovely. Beautiful. I, 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 I did notice that on the skylight, the Homo sapiens skylight, that's the one that had the original little window in there. Uh, I know on a few reviews it got, well, the tolerances weren't that great. Now, uh, when this, when the crystal dream came out, there was nothing but rave reviews about it. Uh, I, I've not seen a uh, skylight up close, but you know I really like what they did with the Crystal Dream. I really think that was a great idea. Oh, he's going to show me now. <laughs> Maybe they'll have that skylight on sale for like a hundred ninety dollars. Save me the trouble of having to try and explain it with just a solid bar. So I'm glad he's got one. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you have to- two different windows to show each chamber, and I'm sure John's going to show that in a minute. Hmm. But Frank, uh, was did you hear the same thing? Like a couple of reviewers, maybe? No, actually, I didn't. I didn't. But that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I love the look. I, I love, love the look. look. Yeah, the look's done. But, but but given given the choice, I'd much rather have the Crystal Dream. Yeah, I agree. Just agree. because you know, being a, a pen guy, people are obsessed with with what seeing their ink. Uh, yeah, I, I really yeah. think that's what happened. I, I agree. I think as soon as the Crystal Green came out and you saw an actual ink window, something everybody was comfortable with, in comparison to seeing a, a long side window across, again, that was really good to see the two reservoirs. Oh, so didn't do, the didn't, Vis- yeah. didn't Visconti do one of those uh, clear ones with the blue swirl in it? Y- yeah. yeah. There no. it is, right there. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the one. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Larry's got beautiful. one. Yep. Larry, you got that. Oh. Mm-hmm. I want one. <laughs> Done. They're beautiful. There you go, Marilyn. It's for you. He's just call Frank. Yeah. Frank's waiting to take y'all's order. He's yep. got that payment plan. He's got the payment plan. Ready to go now. Right. Yeah. Frank, Frank can, he can text me. Uh, okay, I'm ready to go and uh, send me your address and we'll ship it out to you on Monday and you'll have a mid next week. <laughs> I'll check my pocketbook on Monday. We'll see if I got paid yet. <laughs> well, well, Maryland, if we see you end up on the street, we know what happened. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you so don't bad. know. <laughs> I've got a bucket full of fountain pens over here. Like, I need another fountain pen. Like, I need a hole in my hand. 
I know I know we've all kind of been doing a lot of talking. Norman or Deborah or Maya, uh, it's good to see you guys. You haven't said a whole lot, yep. but I yeah, hey, Maya, I, go? I haven't gotten your uh, letter yet, but that's okay. It's probably in the mail. We've got uh, John. We have Norman from uh, uh, Australia, and uh, Maya's from England. Or is that correct? No, Scott. Uh, Wales. Yeah, I'm mute. Yeah, you're on. Oh, there you go. Wales, Wales Scotland. Yeah, where they speak Welsh. Welsh. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And Deborah, well, I'm not sure where you're at, where you're from, but uh, you are New York. Wonderful. Michael? Yeah, I'm in New Hampshire. The only time I've been into Scotland, I went to Edinburgh, and I found Edinburgh Pen. Maya, wow. is this the one that you sent me? No. I yeah. don't think no. I... No, okay. I was just like, is this from, <laughs> it's from England? And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Edinburgh, Edinburgh from England. Pen, huh? What is that? No, I use saying, you know, uh, proper postage stamps. Um, oh, there's Winnie oh, Pooh, oh. I think, still. Still got a few of those somewhere. Nice. <laughs> Game of Thrones is among some of the ones I've got. Uh, well, <laughs> so back to John for a minute. John, does uh, this country have any... Uh, oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, any new pins uh, in the workshop that they're working on? And and if so, how often does the Visconti plan on putting out pins every, is it every year or, how, or what? Well, since, since I've been on with them, we've come out with these and this. And so this is four months worth of, worth of, worth of work. Okay. We've got the new Van Gogh coming. Um, and then we've got a oh, nice chandelier. Was ever house that's it? <laughs> um, Jim, yeah. <laughs> there are talks about more colors of the um, of the lava colors. Colors. So the lava colors, nice. <laughs> that's so yeah, good. Larry, to answer your question, they're constantly working on new things for us. Okay. How about a blue in the uh, lava color? A balloon. No, yes. purple. Oh, oh okay. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Talking about things. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, do you have like anything else that we need okay. to ask John or Frank hey. before we give it a close here? John, I, I have a question. Well, uh, go ahead. Would, a, uh, would either Visconti or DuPont entertain like a platinum nib? Um, I doubt it. Uh, DuPont's are 14 and, and, and 18. Uh, Visconti's now doing their own in house uh, 14 and 18 carat nib. Um, uh, I don't, uh, Frank brought it up a little while ago about um, doing whether or not Bach would keep doing a steel nib. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I think Visconti's just concentrating on 14 carat. So, no, I don't think so. Oh, I got one more. Yeah, how about titanium nibs? Anything about that? Ne have not heard a word. No, no. This was this was the big thing for them to do their own in house because Bach nibs are very good, and so you're kind of messing with things. If you want to do it on your own, that's good because it's it's cost saving and you keep everything in house. But sure. you just weren't Definitely. really sure until you actually tried it whether it be whether it be okay or not, and it is. Okay. All right. Well, folks, anything else you would like to ask these two fine gentlemen? Uh, Frank, did you get the endless uh, journals back in yet? No, not yet. I've actually talked to them, and uh, they're waiting uh, for their supply chain as well. You know, with uh, the crisis and everything that's going on, you sure. know, we have to worry about, you know, uh, getting things from these places and then over and all that. So, uh, what it is, I'll let you know. You know, I do have a lot of different covers. Uh, maybe not the colors that everybody wants, but uh, I, we talked about it before. This, these are the 68 gram Tomo River uh, mm -hmm. journals that I have from Endless Works. And some I have lined, some I have squared, dotted, uh, blank. 
not all the colors, but I have, I have, I usually have at least one uh, paper type in, right. in a certain color. Oh, so, yeah. Super. Hey, John, is there any chance of me getting more of these writing pads? Can I order some of these? I got this from the, the pen place. Uh, sure. They sell those? Uh, Tony, I think you probably bought enough that I could probably pull some strings and get you a couple. Okay, great. Great. I love um, them. Uh, just have Frank can, Frank can or, order you some, and then uh, he can send them to you with your next Visconti purchase. <laughs> there you go. And Tony, go. Tony, he'll, he'll yeah. only charge you 50 bucks a page. <laughs> <laughs> Not to make a living. He got you out. I have to <laughs> on now. Yeah, Read that's right. Print I'm, a mu I'm a musician. A I'm a musician, Larry. I I'm a musician, yeah, Larry. I, yeah, I know. I've been there, done that. Yeah, but you're not a starving musician. That's the thing. See, uh, no. If you look at my belly, it's not starving. You know, we're not starving. <laughs> I'm a handicapped musician already, so you got one on me. So there, there you go. go. Oh man. And, you know, before we go, uh, I was talking about Tony for real, and uh, uh, I was saying, Tony, why don't we do a, a Zoom or some kind of where we'd be jamming? Remember that, Tony? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm still, I'm still thinking about how, how we're going to do it. Okay, so yeah. uh, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, we ought to do that sometime. Well, you take out the strawberry jelly yep. and the bread, and you <laughs> swipe the jelly. I'm just saying. I'm just like, well, that's and you best. got jam. And you talking about jam, jam, I don't know. <laughs> well, folks, I guess that's going to hang it up. Mm -hmm. uh, John, you anything else you'd like to share, Frank? I, I, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to talk to all your friends. And uh, Frank, we'll talk, uh, how about Monday, about your uh, DuPont order? Sure, and, uh, definitely. Frank is now Thank a you authorized DuPont dealer for all of you pen buying people out there. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that good. Remember that, Tony. <laughs> I will. John, say say hello to, to everyone back at Coles from all of us. I, I will. I will pass on your, your greetings and your compliments, yeah. and we appreciate it. All right, John. Hey, thanks a lot for joining us today, man. You were terrific. And Anytime. We got to do this again. It, it was like crazy cool, okay? Anytime. Anytime. And, of course, you, Frank. Thank you. Man, always. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Yes, yes. And where's little Marco? Thanks, go? everyone, for coming. Yeah. Thank you, John. Don't forget little Mark. There's yeah. Mark. Oh. <laughs> uh, everybody, hey, thanks for joining me today. So, any last questions before I hang it up? Good. All right. Good. We're done. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Right, Till next time.